Doctors at Medical Center will be providing free stop the bleed training for about 200 teachers and administrators in the Stanislaus Union School District. The hope to teach them how to spot a life threatening bleeding situation and help stop it. And joining us this morning to talk more about that is Rena Bryant and injury prevention coordinator at Doctors Medical Center. So today's event just for these teachers, but you also provide classes to anyone who wants to learn, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we provide a class once a month that's completely free to the public, and then we will also go out to any agency who is interested in getting the training. Yeah. So how important is this type of training, and have you seen an increase in demand for it? Um, it's extremely important. Um, when people think of bleeding control, they always think of the big uh, raging things such as, you know, uh, gunshots or bombings or stabbings, things like that. But really, we're talking about everyday events such as car crashes, um, incidents in the home where you cut your hand with a with a knife or maybe some kind of farm equipment that people have been using, um, sports injuries, you name it. So it's a skill that everybody needs to learn um, and everybody in your surroundings needs to learn how to do, do it as well, just in case you're the one who is injured. Yeah, and of course, you want to sharpen those skills, even if you've had the training before. So how vital is it to make this more of an instinct, especially for those high pressure moments? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when you're in those situations, it's very scary. It's scary for absolutely everybody. So it's nice to know that you um, have the training, that you have touched the equipment, that you've practiced the skills and that you feel confident in that. You all feel, always feel very scared in those situations and that's totally normal, but it's nice to know that you know what to do to keep that person alive until EMS arrives. So of course you want as many folks as possible to sign up, but what are some of the things that folks will be learning? What, how can they identify certain situations? Yeah, so it's actually really quite basic. Uh, we want you to have the light bulb go on and recognize that this is a major bleeding incident and I need to activate EMS to have them coming en route. And while I'm waiting for them, there's just three basic things we want to keep the blood in the body. So we're going to teach you how to put pressure onto the person, push down as hard as you possibly can and not let go until EMS arrives. Or sometimes the wounds are very, very big and so we have to pack them with something like gauze or a hemostatic agent, something that you'll put inside of there and then again, put pressure and hold it really tight or uh, you may have to also use something like a tourniquet and so apply that tourniquet as tight as possible until the bleeding stops and then you will keep that on there until again EMS takes over for you. And you folks also offer instructor training as well correct? Yeah, absolutely. So it's kind of a simple process. Once you become, uh, once you take the class, if you meet a certain criteria, um, nurse, doctor, um, lifeguard, there's a different, all different kinds of categories there. If you meet that according to American College of Surgeons, um, then you can become an instructor and you can just uh, spread this information as far as it can go, which is great. All right, Rena, uh, we'll get you out on this. If anybody needs more information, wants to sign up or they're just curious, where should they go? Um, so you can go to stopthebleed.org. That gives you a lot of really great information. And then if you want um, some of our classes local here in the Modesto area, um, you can go to Doctors Medical Center and underneath events, you will find the Stop the Bleed trainings that we provide. Um, you can also contact me at rena.bryant at tenanthealth.com and I'll be happy to try and uh, schedule a program for your local um, agency. All right, Rena, thank you so much for your time this morning. 